Hello and welcome fellow gamers. My name is Borek and this is another series of Subnautica. And once again we crash land on a water planet. I have absolutely no idea if this is in space, why there was water on the floor. But as you can see our mm, capital ship crash landed and we are in the escape pod and yeah it doesn't look good <laughs> so we're back we're back on this water planet we're gonna be submerging into the depths of the unknown today was a great day because there was a new cool update called prawn update and apparently from what i have read is that now we have a possibility to create ourselves a really awesome why this doesn't work now it works we have a possibility to make ourselves a lovely waterproof suit with nice additions like torpedo bay and stuff like that but let's get started let's get started so we have landed on the planet the pda is booting thank you Right. So, uh, for all I do, for all of you guys that do not know Subnautica, well, uh, the game is all about surviving uh, on the planet, uh, water planet. And let me just take this away. So we have crash landed. This is our capital, lovely ship called Aurora. And yeah, vast ocean. Pretty much that's it. This is our escape pod, and uh, we will go down below into the depths of the ocean. But first, let's check what's going on. I've been playing this for like one, two seasons actually. Two seasons, and uh, I haven't played it for quite some time now, a couple of months. So there was there was few updates, uh, two or three already, which I haven't checked. So I've decided to go. Why not give it a go? Because well, <laughs> you are going away, guys, to different channels. But but let's get going. Let's return to the Subnautica. Something new because why not so as you can see over here we have our storage container and we have some food rations nutrient nutrient block which is cool we have some flares and filtered water that's going to be great and essential for our survival so this is our fabricated fabricator where we craft our stuff let me just double check if something has changed significantly silicon rubber is still made out of creep vine seed clusters right so our ship is getting wrecked so that's kind of suck i'm just checking what has changed and oh we can actually make fire extinguisher that's quite cool and tools wise we need we're gonna need scanner we're gonna need knife titanium so silicon rubber that's gonna be cool so f so the first episode is gonna be all about starting our survival we need to repair this bad boy as well because um, circuit test failed secondary system offline flotation device deployed and hull integrity fortunately a-okay right so let's go down below into the depths of the ocean as you can see this is the planet and on the left we have some meters um, oxygen meter health hunger and thirst and basically what we do is we go around the planet catching fishes like this guy if only i could do that this is this uh, ship is called bladder ship bladder ship and we will use it um, to make water as well as as well as we can eat it this is uh, salvaged metal that will transform into into um, what do you call them titanium the essential component needed to craft some different stuff so in those rocks we can find uh, i have already found a lead 
uh, but we will find a shitload of stuff as well like copper silver gold magnesium and other stuff actually magnesium is not found in in those rocks but they float around but they basically float around so what we need to do at first is get those th those guys are dangerous so you need to watch out for them but we need to gather some of those creep vine cluster seeds see told you they are dangerous if you die you will respawn at your come on you will be respawned at your uh, pod so no biggie but you will lose all the stuff that you had in your inventory before you died so the way to save your inventory is actually going inside a habitat that we will build later on because you can build stuff oh inventory full that's not good because you can build stuff underwater there's something that can be used we will need to gather a shitload of stuff but we are full completely full so with the tab you bring up your menu I should have left the fire extinguisher back at our pod, right, mm, so first thing first, let's make some silicon rubber because that will be needed, as well as uh, some titanium because we need that titanium, and now we can start crafting some equipment, can we? No, we need silicon rubber to make two sil uh, silicon rubber to make fins and we're gonna need glass, and for the glass to make glass we need two quartz. And we only have one, so that's kind of suck. But at least we can make a water because we had this bladder fish that allows us to make water. Oh, nice sound of water creation. That's cool. That's cool. And I wanted to make another silicon rubber so we can have flints and fins, not flints, and fins will be needed for tra fast traveling underwater. Later on, we will be able to make um, to make. Uh, some cool stuff such as Let's drink that with left mouse button uh, We will be able to make some cool fast-moving um, Vehicles such as sea glide Cyclops and newly added and newly added um, Suit prone suit which will allow us to dig uh, to uh, gather resources attack animals and other stuff now i'm picking up silicon and this is actually salt over here and the salt is also needed because with salt we can make purified water which has a greater amount of hydration it will help hydrate you much better than ordinary water that you can make out of this bladder fish that I have already caught so as you can see there's a lot of fish not every single one oh shit that's dark or have I died already <laughs> first day and I have died why is that probably I just suffocated god damn it now we need to I completely didn't notice the oxygen level and I'm used to the lady saying that there is critical critical level of your oxygen and you have like 10, 10 seconds probably I was just talking too much so as you can see you can die and there's a volcano you should stay away you should stay away um, I don't know if it's gonna kill you or not, but I'm not gonna test it. I'm not gonna test it right now Okay, so let's resurface. This is what the lady is talking about. I'm sorry about the darkness. We don't have we don't have um, light source yet Actually, there was some flares so we might go and grab those and we can craft the first of two tanks that I'm planning to craft All right so where was this flare it was over here so right click to move this thing whoops sorry need to get used to the controls of the game so now we can make glass and with titanium we can make ourselves a lovely oxygen tank as you can see which will 
increase our oxygen level from 45 to 75 so we have been added 30 uh, points of um, oxygen which is really cool right uh pipe no we don't need pipe well actually you can use pipe to breathe underwater but so this is our lovely flare that we can throw uh, into the depth and see what is going on down below for example but now i'm just gathering some quartz because we will be needing quartz really badly and you really need to whoops you should um, watch out for these guys with big ass but because if you get too close they are not aggressive but if you go too close they will eject those guys which are toxic so you should really stay away right um what do we have over here there's some salt so let's pick it up thank you you can pick up certain items certain flora uh, of the surface uh, but and you will use it to make some stuff uh, such as batteries and other uh, necessary components that we'll craft later on but for now i'm just checking the surroundings and uh, trying to find as much basic resources as possible um, I think this is one of the wrecks and the wrecks were actually one of the updates lately well maybe not lately but um, quite some time ago actually Emergency. right so let's get some oxygen we need to stay above water for a certain amount of time so that our mm, tanks refills right so over here we have a blueprint well fragment of the blueprint we need to scan them with the scanner and we need to make a scanner but before we make a scanner we need to find some copper and the easiest way of finding copper is finding those limestone rocks which i have destroyed at the beginning of the video unfortunately i don't have what the fuck was that There are actually completely new sounds uh, in the game which I'm not familiar with and yeah. So all to all I love this game, I love this game for the graphics and not being, and that game is not uh, that stuff to play, although I know that, uh, where's actually our pod? over there i know that uh, recently some biggest creatures have been added to the game to the depth to the depths and we need to watch out well now we are just moving around our uh, small garden if i may say so trying to survive and ba make some basic stuff such as glass but later on we'll be building we will be building big and i hope we will do that okay so another o2 tank so we will have f additional 30 mm, 30 slots of oxygen but this time well the first o2 tank goes into the slot over here but the second one remains in your inventory taking for four places so anyway that's what to be expected uh nevertheless it is cool it is it is cool so let me just drop sorry some stuff over here so we'll have uh, some more place and now what do we need to make our first tool silicon rubber so the, for the silicon rubber we're gonna need those clusters i think one two three as far as i remember and now we can make silicon rubber in the basic materials and then go into the tools section tools and survival knife we can upgrade this knife having um, upgrade station but for now ah we can protect ourselves at least in a way and we can use it as well to gather some stuff you we used to be able you used to be able to get some coral shell, shells out of those guys but apparently 
they are not thing anymore so that's kind of a suck but as you can see over here we have some limestone and we need it we actually need it we can cut down those creep vines do something with it fiber mesh rebreather unlocked oh nice so that's really nice addition let me just get this another rock over here that's a titanium so you can also find an a titanium these small fishes you cannot you cannot catch but these guys called boomerang you can and you can actually cook them and we should do that and why am i going around this boomerang fish because it is supposed to be easy to catch right these are eggs and you can hatch eggs creature eggs you can hatch eggs in uh, as you can see it's unident i unidentified right now but you can hatch them if you have the aquarium and one more thing that you should be aware of uh, if you have a tool in your inventory you will you will um, move underwater you will move slower basically so you should always bear in mind that if you have a knife in your hand you will move a bit slower right so we have a copper and now with the copper i think we can make i think we can make under electronics no we need two because we need no oh, oh okay so we can make battery and with the battery we can make scanner and we can start scanning the surrounding area well not this well oh, as well as the surrounding area we can scan those fragments because the fragments will be needed and let me just check if i can cut this open because we will need that giant yes so we are picking common coral sample which will be needed which will be needed later on to make bleach and with a bleach we can make distilled distilled or purified water that will give us for rehydration something like that Warning, local that's not good that's not good at all uh, so basically <laughs> life sucks at this point okay uh, what do we need we need battery so we need battery <coughs> sorry about that we need battery and with a battery we can make our second tool called scanner and with the scanner we can scan stuff yeah that's what you do with a, with a scanner you just go down below you have it on your hotbar and with right mouse button written weed and there you go you have an information oh that is so cool tap to view so you have an information well adapted to both shallow waters and cave system this plant lives in a symbiosis with the coral species which forms around uh, the base of the stems stems in that this this and now with the scanner i can go around and search for search for of course let's put it away for now we can search for uh, fragments that will allow us to unlock blueprints and with a blueprint we can make really fantastic stuff so as you can see i have already un uh, got one of the vehicles that we will be able to make that is called sea glide and the sea glide technical oh swan sweet this is so sweet Siglite is a personal transportation device designed for use in oceanic environments capable of speeds up to 10 meters per second in standing water displays basic topographical data for aid in charting cave systems and have replaceable batteries because apparently as you can see this scanner as well has a on the bottom you can see the power of 90 percent so we will need to uh, we will need to upgrade batteries uh, in those uh, things that we have such as uh, sea glide or the scanner or flashlight or, or any other thing that will use that will use um, batteries for building uh, but no biggie no biggie you don't need to search for like million tons of ores 
uh, if you at some point make yourself a modification station you will be able to make chargeable fins fins that allow you to charge your stuff that is on, not on your hotbot but in your hand you can charge the stuff while swimming so this is really cool and awesome right so i think we have covered the basics now all there is to it is go and survive and there you go another sea glide fragment that i think we can actually make it at this point so this will this will help us a lot in traveling underground although as i said it uses battery shuttle bag so let's scan you mr shuttle bag this is relatively so slow unfortunately we cannot pick it up but at least we got some information i don't know if there are any points that you can gather uh for uncovering those guys uh, that flora and fauna at least i guess not yet but all to all that's pretty cool stuff right so at this point i'm i'm aiming at creating a sea glide which is going to be the second step but for now we'll have to do with the sea glide so i think that's gonna be it for today's episode guys um the prawn update well it looks pretty awesome there is also a new area that we can explore in the aurora so i want to go there asap as soon as we make a basic vehicles we will, we will go there we will need to make a lead suit well the basic stuff i will do some grinding of camera uh, gathering some materials and maybe uh, scanning for some uh, fragments of course but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button in the section down below comment about the gameplay if you like what you see oh you can subscribe to the channel but we need to watch this oh baby this is gonna be so cool <coughs> right Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Boom! This is awesome. Oh man. I think they have changed the graphics as well. Some bits flying around. I don't I don't recall that I have seen that earlier, but let's wait for the wave, the radioactive wave. sweet <laughs> so in the first episode we have managed to completely destroy our ship right cool so okay guys that's it for today's episode i hope i will see you around in the next next one till then take it easy have fun happy gaming